This is the NJIT Steel Bridge uh, building team, and we're just de disassembling a bridge right now. Basically, uh, the Steel Bridge competition is supposed to model uh, an actual project where the kids design, fabricate, and construct an actual bridge about 20 feet long. As you see in the layout, they have issues during construction. They can't go into the floodway. They have to go around other obstacles sometimes, and they have to plan that into the design so they can uh, build the bridge quickly. So basically, this is the staging area. They change the rules up every year, and this year they're requiring all the members to be in one separate section and the fasteners to be in a separate section, pier, and all the tools. So we have to lay out the bridge correctly. That way we can build it out there quickly. And everything has to be laid out, and it takes about 10, 15 minutes to just set up. And you can see right here, Keith is putting all the bolts and nuts together. That way he can quickly access them and put them into a cup. So the black area here taped out is the general building area. This is out of bounds, and this is in bounds. So obviously the, uh, the runners here can only stay in this area up to the blue line. From this blue line to this blue line is the floodway, and nobody can actually be in here building. So when the builders are trying to put some members down in here, they have to try to either create special tools to get by or try to design the bridge so they can easily access the members. Uh, the red boxes are the abutment boxes. You're allowed to walk in there, but it's just so uh, the team knows where to put the abutments. They have to land in there, and if they go outside of that, they'll get a time penalty. The barges will stay in the river from this blue line all the way to the black line, and up to three barges can be in here at one time. They will stay there the entire competition from start to finish. Steel Bridge is uh, very good because it's actually applied engineering. You get to use your uh, class skills and the theory you learn inside your classroom to uh, apply it towards the bridge. And it also allows you to use your imagination so you can kind of think outside the box and apply what you think would be a better idea for construction or design and uh, make a better bridge out of it. Basically, it's where engineering meets athletics.